Hello. Okay, y'all. So I'm starting to vlog off showing y'all my beautiful mother. First of all, sis has on skin in the long sleeve and she is wearing a size medium. So all of my queens that are women of age, listen, honey, we got all the looks for you. It don't matter how old, where you at, where you from, everybody can shop everything. So make sure y'all go and shop. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Rome wasn't built in a day. And to whom much is given, much is required. Last year, we planted the seed. Together, we will watch it grow. Hey y'all, so I am taking my mom to Kava for the first time. Um, I didn't film it, but actually this same time, no, 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 Wednesday, I'm about to say this same time last week. Wednesday was my very first time trying Kava and now I am obsessed. So we are about to get us something to eat. And hey, how are you? Let me order, I'm gonna come right back. So we still here, we got our food. I didn't record the process of us picking out our food because you know, they don't even want you talking on the phone when you ordering food, it'd be a lot going on. But um, basically I kind of get, I don't want to say the works, but I get a lot of the different things. But if you guys like Chipotle or um, this day everything, then you will love kava. So good. Like, just a whole lot going on. So we about to eat and then I'm going to Okay, guys. So I just love La Paria. It's a Mexican spot if you guys don't have it in the city you live in. I'm kind of lit a little bit, but... um. I just wanted to talk about something real quick. So I was sitting at the bar. I'm going to insert a clip because I was trying to get them on the low without like them seeing. Um, don't have anything negative to say, but they asked me. Well, actually, the lady in particular asked me a few questions and it kind of threw me off. Um, she asked me. Do my nails hurt? She asked me, do my nails hurt? And it threw me off because I was thinking to myself, do people from other races be that oblivious as to like, and I'm, I'm not even gonna say long nails is a black thing. Maybe it is a black thing. Y'all let me know in the comments, but it kind of pissed me off a little bit because it's almost felt like she was asking me about my hair. Like, I don't know. She just was like, oh, do those hurt? And I was like, no, they don't. And she was like, oh, I just, my nails are short, so I don't really, and it just kind of pissed me off because I was thinking to myself, like, I just, this goes back to my lesson about reading the room. Like, I was sitting at the bar by myself. I was minding my business. I was not in the mood. Like, I don't think I gave off talk to me vibes. Not that I was being rude, but you know, I, you know, you guys know I've been going to the bar a lot by myself just so I can think and like, work at my own pace or whatever I'm doing but nonetheless she was like do your nails hurt and I was like no they don't I was like she was like I just can't do I, I wouldn't be able to do nothing with those and I said yeah well once you have them you adapt I said they become an extension of yourself and it's like second nature I was like I don't my nails have not stopped me from doing anything and these little does she know these are very short compared to what I was getting with these nails I'm able to still pull my card out when I go to the bank and I put my car in the bank when I'm parking and they, you know, need me to pay. I'm able to put my credit card in the pay um, dispenser. Like, I don't have any issues with these nails. So it just kind of like, I'm not going to say it rubbed me the wrong way, but I was just like, y'all got to learn how to read the room. Like, I get it. We live in a society where we be trying to like be cool and be down and like the questions people be asking. Don't ask me that, sis. I don't, that was so, it was just so random and I could tell the guy she was with was kind of like try, trying to tell her to chill. Like, don't ask her that. Like, she, it's okay. Like, relax. Like, don't, that was just, I just want us to do better. But anyway, I wanted to come and chime in on that really quickly. Y'all, I'm tired. I have a hunger headache because as I told you guys in the video I posted, if you guys have not, go ahead and watch my Q&A. But um, I am on a diet and I have not ate all day today. La Perea was the first time me eating today. So.
So I kind of have a hunger headache a little bit, even though I just ate. So I'm about to take my makeup off and I am about to go to bed because um, I have a work week this week that I have to take care of. So that's what's going on. Um, I'm going to come back to y'all probably tomorrow and talk to y'all this week about what's going on with me. But right now I'm just tired. My Sunday has whooped me. I'm whooped with a T. So I'll see you guys later on in this video and I love y'all. Okay, y'all. So as y'all can see, I got on just a little tube looking top and some um like leggings. And I don't know if y'all can tell, but in little baby words, this is about to get serious. So if you guys have or have not, make sure y'all go and watch my last video when I told y'all my weight. I'm just not happy with my weight. I'm not happy. I am currently trying to set the camera because I want y'all to see. I'm currently 151 right now. And um, my good weight or like basically when I'm like, I guess slim thick, I guess is around 130 to 135. Anything after 135, I don't know. 140 is probably like my cusp like cuss when I get to like a 145 I'll be like uh oh and then now I'm at 150 and I got to like 155 um recently but I got myself back down to 150 so I have lost five pounds already and I lost the five pounds y'all by just um intermittent fasting meaning like going until probably one or two o'clock every day eating and then trying not to eat after nine if I do eat after nine I didn't eat a lot in a day. Like, I basically have been minimizing how much I eat. But this Saturday, I went crazy. I went, took my mother to Kava. Then I went to Nut and Bunt Cake and got me two Bunt Cakes, y'all. Oh, my God. Like, the little B-size ones. Um, and then I went to OSHA and I pigged out. I did. I'm not going to lie. So, I'm embarrassed for myself. Um, and again, this is my preference, but I just, I just been going nuts. And when I woke up Sunday morning, I was back at 151. So, right now, I'm at like 150 because I kind of like starved myself yesterday, which today, no. I starved myself on Sunday. Today's Monday. So, came on camera to tell y'all. We are about to go to the gym. This is what's about to happen. I'm about to get serious. Um, I cannot allow myself to keep going. One thing I I know about myself is um, I know how to get myself back down. I know exactly what I have to do. I know I have to stop eating as much. And I know that I'm going to have to start working out. I tried to just not eat, but it'd be hard. So I, I got to I gotta do both. So I'm about to go to the gym, guys. I have not. I have not been to the gym and like take it serious, seriously taking it, going to the gym since um, 2019. 2019 is when I had got to the weight I'm at now and I was like, oh, I got to go to the gym. I can't be, I can't allow myself to get past a certain point. And I ended up losing all that weight. I got down to 140 and then over the years I had got to 135. And I'm so happy right now. I just been eating good and doing whatever. And the arms, honey, I cannot. The arms, I'm just one of those people who was blessed with. I just, my arms are very healthy, which make me look bigger. Um, now, if I pull my arm out, which is what I be doing on my pictures, then it don't look as chunky. But like, say I'm just holding it like this. I hate my arms, y'all. I hate them. Um, my stomach. Um, it looked like it's small right now, but this band is keeping it together. But this is my stomach right now. Now I know some of y'all probably like, girl, what is that? But listen, y'all, this is because I have been not eating. I've been starving myself because when I eat, I get extremely bloated and I be looking pregnant. And no, like that's the only thing about being small. Is like when you do eat and you got like a stomach, you see how them, that love handle is hanging over them pants. Like, um, that's the only thing like for me, people think I'm pregnant or they think or they can be like or they can notice faster that I'm gaining weight because I've been kind of where I've been versus somebody who was already bigger. You know, you gain a couple weight. Nobody can really tell if that makes sense. 
My mom told me something, because I know y'all probably like, girl, just go up a size in your pants and you will be fine. Like, you don't look bad. Let me tell y'all what my mother told me, and it has always stuck with me. My mother said, um, as soon as you accept that you're gaining weight, meaning accepting in a sense, like you stop wearing jeans, you start going up in sizes, like, okay, I'm a medium now, forget it. That you're gonna keep going, you're gonna keep going and keep going and keep going. And I don't want to do that to myself. I have not even had children yet. You know what I'm saying? Like having a baby is gonna make me gain even more weight. And it's like if I can try now, while it's while I'm um, thinking about it, while it's on my mental, that is what I'm gonna do. So y'all bear with me. Um, if you want to know more of my journey, y'all can. But today is March 6th, and I am 150 make sure I show y'all what it says on the thing probably with these clothes on it may say like 151 with clothes on because I be wearing myself when I'm naked but saying all that to say we gonna time stamp it today and my goal from now until April 6th I'm gonna give myself four weeks I need to lose 10 pounds 10 pounds we gotta do it so this is where we are just want to show y'all so y'all can remember this is where we are currently right now and 10 pounds is the goal 10 pounds is the goal 10 pounds is the goal so i am about to go to the gym so this is my first time going to the gym in a long time so what my plan is today i'm not going to be doing all that weights and all that stuff to me doing weights is just a show people be putting on a show like show what they can do baby i ain't doing none of that i'm gonna get on the treadmill I don't even know if I can fit this waist trainer because I, I bought this when I was a baby girl still. <laughs> so we about to see if I can get it up. But whew. hold on, y'all. I might have I might have to put this on my bare skin because right now it ain't looking too good. Hold on, y'all. See, you see what I'm saying? Hold on, give me two seconds. Okay, I had the brandy camera over here to show y'all me trying to put this on because you can see in that mirror and I almost showed y'all everything I'm working with. But okay, we was able to put it on barely, but it's on. So um, yes, we will be. I mean, I'm just putting this on not because I'm trying to like target my midsection, but more so I want to sweat right up in there. Well, I guess that's the same thing. Oh, yeah, I feel like a freaking. I don't know how I feel. This is tight, but this what we got. This what we working with um yeah so this is it this is this is how we going to the gym and i'm about to work out i'm about to get grab me some water to take with me um and we're about to get get it pumped up my goal like i was telling y'all is first and foremost just to get acclimated with being back in the gym it's been a very long time so i'm probably gonna do a few stretches and i'm gonna run the treadmill i'm gonna try to do a mile and that's it i'm not gonna be going crazy and running and doing all that dun, 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 dun. y'all know how them people be doing when they be doing no marathons i ain't doing all that we doing the bare minimum today and as time picks up then i will do more but um okay y'all see y'all in the gym Get real. Okay, y'all. Oh, God. This is what my first time back in the gym in like two years. This is what I did. So I'm proud of myself. Whew. Good morning. Good morning. Today is a day that the Lord has made and let us rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, y'all, the last time I think y'all saw me, correct me if I'm wrong. I had just got done going and hard in the paint in the gym. And um, I didn't feel crazy after that. I think because I stretched and I made sure that, you know, I did my due diligence prior to hopping on the treadmill, I was fine. I have not went back since. And that's because, as y'all can see, your girl got her hair done. Or maybe that's the clip. I can't remember if I put that clip in or not. So whatever, I got my hair done. Again, yesterday morning, I got it washed and styled. And y'all know when you get that hair done, you kind of be straight on that gym. I'm not going to lie. So what I have done in the process, I did not film this, but last night I um, went to Target. And um, don't ask me why I went to Target. It's just, 
it ain't that's it that's all that's over here but anyway long story short um i went to target and i just kind of went nuts and bought like a whole bunch of healthy stuff healthy conscious um things that i can eat and drink during the time of when i'm hungry because i won't be going to the gym again until sometime next week um so with that being said i have to do what i have to do in the meantime to still try and lose weight so here's the plan the game plan while i'm not going to the gym um i am going to buy me some more keisha k or t now keisha k or came out with some pills i've been hearing about and if you guys follow her then y'all have heard of them i may try the pill i actually well i actually love drinking tea i don't mind drinking tea raw um i have like built up a tolerance for that so I'll probably just stick to what I know because um, I don't want to be putting too much, I don't want it to be too much going on. So I am going to order some more of her tea. So if I order it today, it should be here sometime this weekend and I can start fresh on Monday drinking her tea. That is what I'm also going to incorporate in my diet to like, you know, flush me out, whatever may have you just get some of them random pounds off this being very stubborn and don't want to come off so that's what i'm gonna do in the meantime and um again some of the snacks i bought just if you guys are curious i bought some insurers now one thing people have to understand about insurers they can be used in two different ways they can be used as a supplement meaning drink this and don't eat food or they can be used on top of um eating food if you're trying to gain weight so that is what insurers are for. Um, my daddy put me on these a long time ago because my dad has always had problems keeping weight on him. But now that he's retired, baby, my daddy is thick. So that goes to show you when you're not being active and you kind of chilling, that's when the weight just be like, yeah, we here to stay. So I bought some insurers. I bought some nuts. I bought some um, like, um, make, like a mix, like a breakfast mix. It's like cheese and nuts and um, all kind of like raisins and stuff like that. I don't really care for raisins, but I'm just trying to like find some stuff to snack on so I don't be talking about where the crab legs and lamb chops at because that's just where my mind goes. So I bought a lot of that. I bought water, just, just things of that sort to keep me from being like I need to be eating. So that is my plan for the meantime. I have not eaten anything, eaten anything yet, and it's 10.45 in the morning. So I think I may do it in sure to start my day, and then I probably won't eat like real, real food probably until about two or three o'clock. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Oh, and I bought apples too to eat with peanut butter. That's gonna be my snack. So anyway, I wanted to tell y'all that um, now, what else I wanted to get into before I come back to y'all a little bit later on to do an unboxing. I told you guys I bought a bag, so I'll do that later on in this video. But let's talk about these tape-ins. Let's get into tape-ins, y'all. So I got these tape-ins on, uh, I think, February 3rd, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think I got them done on, oh, I may have got them done on February 1st, actually. Something like that, February 1st or February 2nd, um, that is when I got tape-ins. So I've had my tape-ins now for a whole six weeks. I am extremely proud of myself. I have gotten my hair washed two times in this process. So every I go every two weeks, so six weeks. It's been since I've had my hair um, in the tape-ins. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm reporting back to say I love it, but any of you girls who are watching this video and you're thinking about trying tape-ins, do not, listen to me, do not do a full head. I have what's called a hybrid. You guys can't tell because the way my hair is, but this part right here, so look at my fist. This part right here is braided up and it's like a sew-in right here. This is a sew-in. This part where I'm moving it, because it's loose, honey, because it, it's been six weeks. That is a sew-in. This part here, it's like two tape, two or three tapes here, probably like maybe six up in here, and then probably like five in the back or something like that. That is what I have going on in my head, and this by far to me is the better route. If you want to have the versatility of pulling it up, putting it in a ponytail, whatever may have you, that is what I have done, and y'all, it is, 
it's it's doing what it's supposed to now i only i do have one more con and i'm gonna insert clip for this because i want you guys to see what i'm talking about so yesterday i got my hair washed i forgot to tell my girl that you know i feel in my head all day long so i can tell if something's slipping or feeling like not where it's supposed to be nonetheless i do i do have one that's kind of feel like it ain't on where it's not hanging on to anything so i forgot to tell her to like take that one out and replace it or whatever may have you because i don't want my hair to pull out unfortunately my hair has already pulled out right there my um lash tech i went and got my lashes done yesterday y'all so make sure y'all use my code um right here to go shop and get y'all lashes done in atlanta by barry she's she's amazing i, I love her so much um, she's like truly become like one of my closest friends. I love her, but back to the tape in. So she looked in my head and I was like, I feel like this hanging sis. And she was like, yeah, it is. She was like, you ain't got no ball spark right there or nothing, but you need to like do something about that. So what I have done in the meantime, because I'm not going back to the shop. Um, I put a bobby pin and I just placed it in and I pushed it up just so it don't be hanging. It's like I'm touching it now trying to make sure. Yeah, it's just so it's not hanging. As long as it's not hanging and pulling more hair out, it'll, it, the bobby pin will work, child. So nonetheless, if you also are going through that, just put a bobby pin up and wait till you go and get your hair done again and have them fix it. But yeah, I just wanted to come in and chime in on that. Will I keep this hair in any longer? I may go another two weeks, so eight weeks all together. Or I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like I miss my wigs more so because I wanna I wanna do both. I don't wanna just have my real hair just out chilling. I want it to be protected. So I kind of want to switch it up and do both. So we'll see. And I'm also thinking about getting braids again. So um, anyway, y'all stay tuned with that. I hope you guys are having a good day. I just wanted to come in and give you guys a few updates of what's going on. I'm about to get back to work because I don't sat here and talk to y'all for eight minutes. And I actually have stuff to do. So I'm going to come back to, get to you guys a little bit later on when I am doing the unboxing and whatever else I got going on this week. You guys will see. But two videos a week, baby. We trying to stay consistent. And I hope you guys enjoyed my last video. And I'm going to see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I wanted to come back really fast because I wanted to show y'all these quick bites. They are 170 calories. And it's like some... It's like some BS food them folks be eating, but child, this is what I gotta do to lose weight. Okay, y'all, so this is the end of the vlog. The day has finally wind down. I meant to unbox my stuff way before the day even like went away, like the sun and everything. So I'm about to unbox it now. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've already seen it. And I'm sorry, y'all, sometimes I have to pick either YouTube's gonna find out first or Instagram, unfortunately, because it is National Women's Day. Shout out to all of my queens. Um, you know, I love us for real. And you can do any, everything you put your heart to and above and beyond. So I did, um, I did post my reel in honor because I did buy this for myself. This was um, a gift I bought to myself for celebrating my business, as you guys know, I hadn't bought anything at all with my business from the time I started. And I told myself that I would, um, I would basically like spoil myself for the month of February because I had did so well, my sales did so well. So I did go back and buy this probably like a week or so ago. So um, yes, y'all. So I just want to unbox it with you guys. Um, so what I ended up getting was, and if y'all wondering why this pillow is right here, I'll explain it to y'all in a minute. No, I'm not pregnant, but my weight and I, anyway, let me get finished on boxing shoot. Okay, guys, so we opening it up. Y'all know how everything comes. But this is my new baby, guys, and I love her so much. This is a Nano Speedy. Um, I'm obsessed. Y'all know I love me a baby bag. Baby bags is me honey um somebody on my instagram was like oh i like small bags too and i was like yeah i'm not gonna lie ever since i seen erica badu music video bag lady you gonna hurt your back dragging all them bags ever since i seen her carrying all them big old bags i just always thought to myself like whoo I don't even like, like literally growing up, I was a tomboy. My mama had to force me to get a bag. And that's another reason why I don't like big bags. I'm I'm not a tomboy anymore, but just having that big old bag and 
if you a lady that love a big bag, I ain't talking mess, but it's just not for me. I like small bags. I think they're so cute, so dainty. So nowadays, um, my main thing, I'm trying to find my phone. My main thing is just buy bags that are practical. So this one is practical. As you can see, I am putting my phone in here and look y'all. And I have the Pro Max and my phone fits perfectly perfectly i'm gonna insert a clip of the other bag that i went to go look at and i was thought i was gonna get that one but when she showed me this one she was like girl they keep selling out this is the last one in the store she was like if you don't get it today sis i don't know if you're gonna be able to get one anytime soon because they're selling out so fast so i listened to her and she was right because when i looked online it definitely says notify me meaning if they be gone so saying all that to say my phone fits i know i can fit a wallet in here i can fit a few lip glosses my lip liner i mean it's just the worst like i know that i can i'll be this is my phone right here i'll be able to fit any and everything my heart's desire in here so i love it y'all oh and it does come with straps let me show y'all so it does come with the strap which makes it even better because i will be able to um you know wear it however i want to wear it and that is the best part about it so i am super super excited to have this bag i'm gonna show y'all how it looks when i stand up i just didn't want y'all to see my stomach child because y'all know i'm trying to lose weight and i'm gonna talk about that a little bit too before i close out the vlog this is how it looks so this is me standing let me pull my dress down because y'all can ooh. See what I'm saying? It's okay, we about to get right. But look y'all, this is how it looks. It is so cute. I absolutely love it. Oh my God. My bad y'all, I had to come move in the kitchen because my um my camera about to die. So I have it on the charger now. But yes y'all, so I love the bag. It is super, super cute. Um, and again, this is the Nano Speedy. And yeah, y'all go shop if y'all like it. Well, it's not sponsored, but I'm just saying like the bag is bagging, so I cannot wait to style this. But anyway, um, let me flip y'all up so I can talk to y'all. The last thing I want to talk to y'all about before I bid y'all adieu, and I will see y'all next week. We're going to be back with two videos. I'm not sure if it's going to come out Monday or Tuesday, but we going back to back because I told y'all. But um, so what I have done in the meantime, because like I just told you guys, I had my pillow over my stomach because I'm just, I don't like the way my body looks in very tight clothing right now. Um, and I'm talking about without sucking in. When I suck in, it look a little better, but just raw, I don't like that. I don't like that. So what I have done is I just re-downloaded this app. No, this video is not sponsored before y'all ask, but um, the app is called My Fitness. It's called My Fitness Pal. So the first time I lost weight, which was, um, what year was that? In 2018 or 19? It was one of those years I went on a diet and I lost a lot of weight. And, well, the 10 pounds. And um, this app helps me. It helped me because... I told them how much I weighed and I told them exactly like um, what I'm trying to lose, how fast I'm trying to lose it, and what do I need to do. So um, this app tells me how many calories I can eat a day without gaining weight, basically. And it tells me, you know, my exercise. Basically, it tells me what I can and can't do. So basically, this morning, as you guys saw, I had that little breakfast, that little nuts and stuff for breakfast for lunch i had fresh to order i basically had um like some chicken and mashed potatoes and like a piece of bread so um i put that in uh, the next thing that i had was um for dinner i had an insure i had a vanilla insure and i had a piece like the literal the literal last piece of some nun bunt cake i ended up buying on saturday when i was still not caring about my weight so that's what i had and all together that food came up to 772 
calories now my goal weight is my goal calories that i can have a day is 1200 so as you guys can see i have 435 calories left before i'm in the danger zone i don't know if it's called danger zone that's just what i call it so what my plan is tonight honestly and i may eat about 200 more calories and then that's it like when I say 200 more, I may have another cheese and um, like cheese and sun dried uh, or whatever they are, um, cranberries, whatever. They're little nuts and stuff people be eating. I may do that again and that's it for me. I'm taking this stuff serious, y'all, because I, as y'all can see, my exercise says seven, meaning I did not work out at all today and I basically been in the house all day. This is why I cannot lose weight because... I be working at home and I be sitting around. So anyway, I just want to come in and chime in on that. Um, Y'all should download this app. You get the first 30 days for free. And like I said, this video is not sponsored. I will not lie to y'all. Um, hell, I wish they would sponsor me. Hmm. But nonetheless, um, that's what I'm doing. And then I literally just ordered me some more Keisha K or tea. Um, I decided to stick with the tea. I know she has those pills, but them pills a little bit more money, first of all. And then for two, the tea worked just fine for me. Um, and I also feel like I could reuse the tea too, too, because I had that same bag for years and um, I just finished it like earlier this year. So saying all that to say, do what you got to do. If you ladies are with me, you're trying to lose weight. These are the things I'm doing. Um, and yeah, we just going to keep it going like that. So I'm, I'm proud of myself. Right now, my app tells me if I don't go past 1,200 calories a day, um, I should um, lose five pounds by April 8th. So today's March 8th. So that's basically one pound a week. You need This app is apping, okay? Whoever stays, stay. If you want to go ahead and exit, I'm going to see y'all later. So um, Teriana wrote me and she said, how do you deal with outgrowing people and things that you love? Has this happened to you? Um, tuh. That's crazy. Um, I've talked about this a little bit before on my channel, but I have friends that um, I had growing up and I had them for years. And it's like the older I got, we stopped caring, caring about the same things. And at first it did hurt me because again, who wants to, you know, end a childhood relationship or like end the way you see your childhood relationship with somebody. Sorry, y'all actually calling me, I'm car wreck. But nonetheless, um, nobody wants to do that, right? But at the end of the day, like sometimes when things don't work out, whether it's a relationship, a job, a friend, somebody you know, um, it's hard, but it this too shall pass. Like that's also <laughs> a, a part of one of my favorite scriptures. This too shall pass, sweetie. Like it's not gonna last always. And you literally have to just think about what life looks like on the next side of that. Um, like the worst thing that can happen is when you outgrow somebody and then it's like y'all grew up together or you outgrow somebody and you guys have children or y'all have this relationship. But that's just what it is. We're ever changing. We're never staying the same. The person you knew when you were in high school, um, lucky, luckily for you, if you still are that same person you were in high school. But I know the way who I was in high school, college, five years ago, one year ago, I'm not that same girl anymore. And anybody who can't see me for who I am and who I'm involving into cannot stay with me. They just can't stay in my life and vice versa. If somebody I'm cool with thinks that I'm holding them back or I'm not, you know, going, moving forward into their new direction of their life. I mean, it, it just is what it is. And I just feel like it's hurtful. But at the same time, sometimes people are in your life for a reason and they're in your life for a season. You don't know which one they're in your life for until it's that time. So I would just take that advice. Um, some relationships I thought it was going to be the end of the world behind. And oh, I can't move forward if I don't have this person in my life. Once I got over that hump, baby, I ain't going to say toodles but it, it don't hit the same once you get past that point um especially depending on how the relationship you know ended or how anything dismantled with that who supposed to be in your circle who wants to be around you gonna be there and the people who are not you wish them well 
But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I tried to make it as long as I could without boring y'all because y'all know I'm very big on not just talking, talking, talking in the in the frame. But um, I'll see you guys next week and I hope you guys enjoyed the videos this week. And I love y'all. See y'all later.